In today's video, I'm going to share multiple ways on how you can raise your territory standing in New World. What I'm going to do is share what I believe are the fastest and most efficient way to quickly raise your territory standing to the least effective. Now there's many, many ways in which you can do this, but again, let's jump into the most effective to the least effective. Now, what I believe is the fastest and most efficient way to increase your territory standing is actually through a cooking method. And that's when you buy as much red meat as possible. I recommend just buying it as cheap as possible, throwing up some buy orders and picking up a large amount over time. Once you do that, you want to also pick up just as many firm fish fillets. And again, I'll explain why you're doing this. But step one is just gather as much as possible throw some buy orders up and get ready for some huge territory standing. Next up, you're going to walk to a cooking station and then get ready to play the Territorial Triumph song. I'm going to just quickly run through this song and make sure that we get this bonus because it's going to help us out big time once we start doing some cooking. Now that we have this territory standing bonus, we are going to slowly walk over to the kitchen now this is a slow process for us at least because we have so much meat on us right now. But regardless, we walk over to the kitchen and then select travel ration. From there, we can see the two ingredients that we just bulk bought from the trading post and we're going to cook it all. We click craft and we can see that right off the bat, we are gathering 7,766 territory standing. That's huge. This is by far the fastest way to boost your territory standing. If you have the money, I recommend you do this process. You can see we already gained a territory level right there, and we're gonna go ahead and rinse repeat with the rest of the meat that we have in our inventory. We're gonna cook all of that real quick, and we gained over 4,000 more territory standing. Right from there, we gained 11,000 territory standing and two levels. What I believe is the next fastest and most efficient way to gain territory standing in New World is regarding corrupted portals. Now, whether it be global chat or recruitment chat, many times you probably hear people say portal run in X location. Well, you join up as a huge group and you go through these portals that pop up on the map. The greatest thing about these are the fact that you not only get territory standing and some weapon XP, but also a chest once you actually eliminate it. Once you take one down, move on as a group to the next one. As you can probably guess, as the difficulty of these corrupted portals increase, so do the benefits. So the stronger the portals are, the higher the quality of items from the corrupted chests you get are, as well as the quantity of territory standing points. The first portal was a smaller one, we got a little bit over 300, and this one we get 470. Next up is actually a pretty obvious one, and that is simply exploring the territory. When you see uncharted landmarks and you actually walk to these different areas, you gain territory standing just by exploring it. So honestly, one of the first things you do should be simply explore the territory and pick up easy levels that way. Also, since you're exploring the area, you might as well pick up some quests along the way. You'll not only gain some character XP and gold, but also some territory standing. So you pick up these, Chances are you're going to be exploring new areas in the territory through these quests regardless, and you'll pick up new quests and new items along the way. So just rinse and repeat and keep the exploring going. Next up is actually another opportunity to increase your territory standing if you have a lot of materials and gold to spend, and that is regarding crafting. So you can go to the specific territory that you're trying to increase territory standing in, set up whatever you want to craft, and do it in large quantities. You set this up, craft everything you have to do, and you will not only get the item that you're trying to craft, but you will also gain territory standing. From this, we can see that we gain 920 territory standing. Not amazing, not awful, but just yet another way to actually pick up some standing over time. And last but not least, we have the town project board. Every territory is gonna have these different notice board looking things where you will have different tasks, whether it be collecting certain materials, picking up certain items, or killing certain enemies. But you can see we're picking up between six and 700 uh, territory standing each, 
but it ranges based on the difficulty. I hope that you gained some value from this territory standing guide and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.